Hello everyone, how are you? And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and my cameraman today is my younger brother, TK. Hey! So today, we're going to be taking you here to Kenkai Kinyakai, as this is a Saing branch. So they opened a newly branch here in Saing, which is my favorite Choro-style ramen restaurant in Kyoto. In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So if you're a Kyoto lover planning to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So then, Tenkai Bing originally started as street ramen in 1971 and opened its first restaurant in 1975 in Kyoto. The rich ramen soup made from chicken and vegetables was completed by the founder, Kimura Tsutomu, about after four years of trial and error. Its deep and delicious taste has continued to fascinate people all over Japan, including me and my family, for years. Today, Tenkai Bing has over 200 branches all over Japan, and it is surely one of the most loved ramen by Japanese people. Okay, sir, let's go inside. I really already love the front of this restaurant here. Hi, thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. So we got this core, we're going to be taking it to the seats over there. Alright, so take a look at the interior. So the Tenka Yuping has a really long history in Kyoto. It originally started from street ramen actually. This new brand was trying to express that it was originally a street ramen by having all these wooden curtains on each seat. Alright, so 1718 must be right here. It's written on the chairs right now and there. Right, let's take a seat then. So they gave this code for us at the entrance of the restaurant. So we're gonna be reading this in and we're gonna be ordering it through our own phones. This is amazing. Start ordering. There we go. So this is the menu. Oh, this is really easy to order. You don't have to like go and talk to the staff and such. You just have to order here. Oh, it's amazing because they give you an individual code. You don't even have to tell them where you're sitting because it already knows where you're sitting, right? So this is really cool. We are going to be ordering two ramen and two other dishes too. So. I'm going to be having the traditional, very thick soup and my brother TK, you like the in-between, right? In-between mm -hmm. the thick, yeah. in-between the thin. So we're going to be choosing a yatai nashi right here. And you get to choose this, how, many, how much noodles you have in it. And also you get to choose how hard the noodles are and all the toppings you want to do. So, so I like actually some little bit of hard noodles actually. What do you like? So, oh. you go for or and we want to order two more dishes. One is going to be this kotenni, which is a dish they were telling us that started in summer. So it's a summer limited one. And this one last one, they actually have very, very delicious chicken here too, right here. So we're going to be ordering this as well. There you go. So we have the ramen, two kinds of ramen. This is the stewed meat, I believe, using the same soup as the ramen. And also, this is the chicken we were talking about. So we have these four dishes right here. Pressing the confirm. Right there. There we go. Let's do more tanyo shimashita. It's ordered. Amazing. This is so easy. So then I guess we'll be waiting for the order to come then. Alright, so we're waiting for the ramen to come. So as I told you earlier, Tenkai Bean started in Kyoto. It was based in Kyoto in the ramen street up north called Ichijoji. But they actually have branches in our home city, Hiroshima, too. And I don't remember how many times we went to Tenkai Bean in Hiroshima, probably like more than a few hundred times. <laughs> but uh, it was our favorite restaurant, even in Hiroshima, you know, growing up as kids. But it's great now because I live in Kyoto, I get to eat the, you know, where it started, right? The home based kind of Tenkai Bean. So. There's a lot of 
different kinds of ramen, but if you're going to be enjoying Kyoto style, Tenkai Bean is definitely it's my recommendation for you. Yeah. I was just saying with TK, we don't know where the chopsticks are, and they were actually down over here. Right here, see? You have the uh, hand wipes here, and also the chopsticks. Perfect! So our ramen is here, so we're gonna start eating it. The thick soup is great. It's been a long time since I've eaten Tank Kai Ping. Oh, this is really, really good. This is the Tank Kai Ping I love. Yeah. So there's some minma in it, and also some meat, and my favorite leeks too. Yes. Mmm. Oh, I love Tank Kai Ping so much. Is it different from the ones in Hiroshima? Is anything different? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're in towards the hard noodles, yep. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. So being able to choose different types of noodles by how long you boiled it, you know, it'll be harder or softer, right? So if you choose like softer ones or harder ones, the taste will be completely different. But this is another way you can enjoy ramen, actually. You can come back to the same restaurant, change the density of the noodles, and enjoy different textures, yes. So we wanted you to see, so this one is the one that I ordered. TK and I are both done eating, but this one is a thinner soup. You can see that looks completely different, right? If I pick it up, see this is the thicker soup. This is a thicker soup. And over here, this is the one that my brother ate. This one see, is a lot thinner. See. So you can choose either one you like, yes. My favorite is definitely the thicker one over here. Mm. To be honest, Drinking a soup is definitely not good for your body. <laughs> but because I don't have that many occasions to come to Tenkai Ping, I just, I love drinking a soup too. Hi! So they brought us the kotirimi. It looks great. And again, I love the thick soup. So the thick soup and all the meat and the konnyaku and everything looks great. And they also brought us this. This is a spicy powder, I believe. Yeah. He told us that we can use it if we want to kind of change the taste in between. So we have this as well. All right. いや、めっちゃ焼きます。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん
with the radish and everything. You get to enjoy a different kind of Japanese dish here, not just the ramen, you know. Mm. Hi. Hi. Oh, Alright, so the chicken is here, so he told us to use the scissors and also the tongue there. There's actually the small salad here as well. So Tiki is going to be doing the cutting and everything for me. <laughs> Alright, here, here's my assistant, so you should do something. So. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's a huge piece of meat there. Ah, oh, wow, so juicy. Can you borrow us these two so you can share it? Perfect. You cut it for me. It's great. While TK does the cutting, I'm going to be starting <laughs> eating it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. Let me start eating it. There we go. Mmm. Oh, it's really, 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 really good. What I love chicken the most, out of beef, out of pork and such. So this is something I really, really love. I love the koteni too because it has a soup, you know, of the ramen. But as a meat dish, I like chicken the most, so it was really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> and you can actually order rice together with this, so I would say that's a really good idea, yeah. Alright, your turn to have the chicken. There's some veggies here too, so... Mm. <laughs> I love the thick taste. Mm. The pepper, the mm. salt, mm. really good isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's soft here, very tender. That's what you want now, dude. Yeah, that's what it's like. It goes great with the cabbage, too. Mm. You can just put the oil on the cabbage. It's a little bit of oil. That's probably the reason why they bring the stew and see the cabbage, so really good. Eat together too. Mm. So Tiki and I were saying, uh, we're looking at the menu again actually, and we were saying really wanted to try out the lemonade they have actually. Homemade lemonade they say, so we had all the thick soup and all the meat and such, so kind of wanted for refreshing, so we're gonna go try out the lemonade actually. Do you remember when we were in the States in America that we, like, there were a lot of lemonade everywhere? Do you remember anything? No. <laughs> no, really? Okay, okay. Then never mind, it's alright. I remember having a lot of lemonade when I was in the United States, but not too much in Japan, so I'm very excited, yes. So they brought us the lemonade. Yes, gotta get some refreshing drinks here. So we have this is the hot water, I believe. So he told us to put this to about half of the Sprite, and then use this to mix it, and then add the rest later. Oh, really? Some honey in it too? Good. We keep this in the box. Looks good. Mmm. Oh, it's definitely homemade. Mmm. 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 Oh, this is really good. If you imagine lemonade from something like factory made, if that makes sense, like that's like in plastic bottles, this is a lot more fresh, definitely, and you can understand that it's definitely homemade. Yeah. You don't feel any like artificial ingredients in it. Uh, you know, when I used to be younger, like a student, like in high school, I could eat as much pink IP ramen as I wanted to, but you know, now being in my late twenties, it's getting a little bit harder for me. So. Having a little bit of lemonade is nice. Ah, holy shit. 
Okay, so we finished making our lemonade. So let's get some other stuff. Nice. So we are done eating, so let's go. Hello, guys. 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 Uh, it's great that you don't have to you know, talk to the staff and everything. You just get to do it yourself. Okay, it's done. Alright, so we just got out of the Tenkaiti Sign Branch. It was great. The atmosphere in the interior inside the restaurant is so sophisticated. And you really feel that you're in back of that time when they were serving this kind of ramen on the streets, right? Yes. It's a whole experience that you get to do. And again, the ramen is quite thick. You know, I love the thick ramen, but if it's a little bit hard for you, you can change the flavor of the soup. You can also enjoy the lemonade that we had to kind of refresh yourself. So it's all prepared for you too. Yes, how is it for you? えっと、骨付き鳥とかレモネードにしてもお客さんが自分でこう鳥のこうカットしたりとかレモネードを自分で作ったりとかっていう自分お客さんが体験するのが結構多かった気がして、すごく楽しかったです。いや、エグザクティ。エグザクティ。イズ、アゲン、パートオブエクスペリエンスライト。いや。エグザクティ。オールライト。イズ。そう、アイウッデフィネティリレコメンドエニワ